everyone, today we're rounding to the nearest thousand in a concrete way. We have 3,648. Because we're rounding to the nearest thousands, we're having a look just at the numbers in the thousands and the hundreds place. When we're rounding to the nearest thousand, it's important to know how many thousands we have and what group of a thousand will come next. Here we have three in the thousands place for a value of 3,000. Our next thousand will be 4,000. Now we need to compare our hundreds to our thousand. In order to compare, we can stack our hundreds. and place it next to our thousand. If more than half is full, we know that we can round up. If less than half is covered, we round down. Remember, our rounding rule is always the same. If we have 400 or less, we round down. If we have 500 or more, we round up. Here, we have 600, so we will round up. Because we've determined that we're rounding up, we don't need our ones tens, or our hundreds. Three thousand six hundred forty-eight has rounded up to become four thousand. Let's have a look at an example where we may need to round down. Here we have one thousand three hundred fifty-four. Remember we're rounding to the thousands place, so we're only having a look at the numbers in the thousands and the hundreds. When we're rounding, it's always important to know how many groups of a thousand we have and what will come next. Now we have 1,000 in the thousands place for a value of 1,000. Our next thousand will be 2,000. It's time to compare our hundreds to our thousand. Remember, we can stack our hundreds on top of each other to easily compare our hundreds to our thousand. Here, because we have less than 400, we know that we'll round down. Because we've determined that we will round down, we don't need any of our tens or ones, our additional thousand, or our hundreds. So, 1,354 rounds down to 1,000. 